Hi, welcome back to Our Town. My name is Chip Harrington. I'll be your host uh, this week. This is our weekly show where we try to profile either different people or issues we have here in Ludlow on a regular basis. And today, now, since we're heading into the Thanksgiving Day uh, holiday, I have asked uh, two people to come in who were instrumental in the 1966 uh, season when Ludlow football went all the way and won the Suburban League uh, championship that year. Uh, and that is the last time Ludlow in the Suburban League won a Super Bowl. Ludlow's won several Super Bowls since then, but those have either been in inter-county leagues or, or some other lower leagues. So, uh, believe it or not, it's been uh, quite a few years since Ludlow has won in the Suburban League. Uh, and if anybody's just tuning in right now, you're certainly going to recognize the people who are sitting to my left. Uh, immediately to my left is Mr. Paul Dorval, who was one of the running backs in that team. And to his uh, left is Mr. Tom Halleck, who was uh, played offense in the beginning of the season, broke his hand, and then uh, came back later in the season and finished up the season on defense. So we're going to talk about that season that they had in 1966. Uh, and I, we actually have some video from that season as well, too. So uh, Paul and Tom can kind of narrate as things are taking place, and we have a little bit of sound that goes along with it, too. So, guys, thank you very much for coming in, Paul. Thank I you. appreciate it, Tom. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much thank you. for taking time. Um, we've got a few props here. The first thing I want to point out up front here is the football that uh, – and when, as soon as the season was concluded, everybody on the team signed it and gave it to their head coach, uh, Coach Chick Petulo, who, if anybody who's lived in town for any number of years, will certainly uh, remember that name. And here it is right here, 1966 uh, Suburban League champions. Uh, and, Tom, actually, tell me the story about how you got this football back. Well, we had given that to Chick, and uh, Chick lived across from Randall's, and uh, he was married to the Mrs. Uh, the uh, Ashwell, Mrs. Patello was Mrs. Ashwell, yeah. or Miss Ashwell, and uh, she had grown up next door, and the uh, barn to that house was in the back of Chick's house, and he had stored it away and had put it in the barn, and Chick had died, and then they were moving out of the house, Mrs. Patello was moving out of the house, and then Karen Randall ended up buying a piece of the Ashwell property, mm -hmm. and she found it in a cardboard box wow. in the barn. I mean, th this is... This is something that I mean. And talk she gave about, it to me. Yeah, talk about a piece of, of, of history, though. This yeah. that's pretty good as far as yeah. you know. All of you guys signed it back then. I'm sure you guys remember signing it and giving it to the coach at the, t at the time too. You know, it's, yeah. it's a great piece of uh, local history that we got there. Um, before we get into the video and all that, I want to talk about the season a little bit too. And we've got a couple pictures. The first picture I want to show is looks like your starting offense that they had uh, at the time. And I'm gonna, we're going to zoom in on this thing so we can point to it. And Paul. If you could just kind of introduce everybody who's kind of shown in this picture once we kind of get it, get it close. Was that, was that good, Liz? Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, get this glare out of here. I have to... Yep. Frank Ozaka, it was probably our heaviest guy, probably the, a, a bull. Yeah. Oh, 220. Uh, yeah. The Dyke Mitchell. Who was uh, always her, mass. Her, her, Herman Hegeman. Right. Uh, I think Bill Picard. Bill yeah. Picard. Yeah. I'm trying to get over here to uh, Glenn Frere. Glenn Frere, and then we have Bill Williams in the back. Yeah. And then we have Jim Wallace, who's all Western Mass. And down below here, Archie Cavallo, mm -hmm. and C Colin Smith, which is cousin to Kevin Thompson. Yeah. And uh, Kenny Ericsberg and uh, Carl Ericsberg. Right, the two twins. Right, and, and you, I, I'm over here in the back somewhere. Yeah, right, you're and right you over there. Kev Kevin and Timmy Rooney. And Kevin yeah. Thompson and, and yeah. Timmy Rooney was right. the quarterback that year. Yeah. And we just, we, uh, Bill, Bill Clogey recently put together a uh, Hall of Fame, and I think uh, Mr. Rooney was a part of that, and uh, yes. you know your coach, obviously, Coach yeah. Petula was a part of that as well, yeah. too. So tell me, Paul, about, I mean, you played football, I'm, uh -huh. I'm guessing probably since you were at least a freshman or so, but tell me about your se senior year and, I guess, the guys that you were playing with back then? Well, I, I'll tell you what, our, our senior, what, you know, getting back to Chick Patello, mm -hmm. you know, he, he brought us up from, well, from Bill Mullins. Bill Mullins was our freshman coach. Yeah. And uh, we went to uh, uh, our sophomore year, and Chick decided to breed uh, a lot of sophomores into the, the starting lineup mm -hmm. of the, the 64 season. And he, he did a wonderful job about that because uh, uh, I was a starting right halfback and uh, Kevin played behind his brother Jason. Yeah, Jason was a lineman, right? Right. No, yeah. no, no. He was a, he was Jason a was carrying the ball. That's right. Yeah. Back. yeah, Jason he was, was a fullback. Back. But, but he, he, he started breeding, you know, the team up. We, we won that championship in 64. Mm -hmm. And then the, we, and 
through the junior years and we got to the senior years and, and t Tom was a hell of a defensive uh, back. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you don't want to run into him, he'd probably bite yeah. your leg. It's still kind of like that today. Yeah. You still don't want to run yeah, into him. Without a doubt. <laughs> Over the DPW. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but he... I'm not sure. No. <laughs> but it... it but, but Chick was, uh, was a hell of a coach, and we had a, you know, our team ba back in 66, uh, uh, our, our, our front line, mm -hmm. our offensive line, is compared to Enfield, South Hadley, and Palmer, which Chick was notoriously worried about. Mm -hmm. We only averaged 172 pounds. Yeah, yeah. And then if you added Tom's weight and my weight and Timmy Rooney's yeah. weight, we were down 152 pounds. <laughs> I mean, and so we, yeah, we, small we, team. We, we, we were Kenny small was 125 team. pounds. Yeah, yeah. 125 as a senior. As a senior. As a senior. Wow. Yeah. So we were, you know, we were a quick team, and uh, we. Yeah, we did all right. Now you guys didn't have. I mean, today, you know, the kids get together. There's a, there's a camp that they. Well, we used to go away to camp. I don't think they do that anymore. No. But when you guys were, I know, kind of, both of you guys are kind of coming from farming families, right? So for the most part, you'd yeah. you'd work in the you know, all summer long in the, in the field, and then football season would start. Because I know you were telling me that story before about Chick would kind of come and get you. Well, we used to have, like, a preseason where yeah. you're supposed to show up in August. Yeah. You know, the last two weeks of August, and it was, like, preseason football. Right. But I, what I was saying is, you know, I grew up on a farm, and, you know, a lot of times I had to work on a milk route, so I couldn't go. And Chick would say, oh, don't worry about it. You'll be in better shape than most of the guys that show up. Mm -hmm. But it was nice because the town was small, and Chick knew everybody. And we just had a lot of guys that just kind of were maybe average players. You know, we had three or four really good players that were like, you know, Timmy and maybe Paul and Kevin Thompson and Dyke Mitchell and Jimmy Wallace. And then we had a bunch of players that, and, and Billy Williamson was a great player too. Yeah. It's, you know, and maybe the Ericsburgs and all that. Mm -hmm. But we had a lot of fill-in people like Bob Thompson and Archie Cavallo and a lot of guys that, you know, Herman Hagerman that were kind of unsung guys that seemed like on Saturday, during the week some guys might be you know, doing oil changes on their cars. Mm -hmm. Other guys were on pro marital. Other mm -hmm. guys were just going through the motions. Yeah. And, but on Saturday, it just seemed like everybody was united and everybody played together and there wasn't ever any animosity. And, yeah. you know, Chick was a great coach that way. He, I think he brought the best out of everybody. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. kind of got the players that maybe had a 75% talent level to play at 85 because you were well coached and you believed in yourself. Yeah. And that's the way. I think Chick coached. It. But anybody I've ever talked to who played for him kind of says that same thing. That he just had yeah. this. He was just a. He was a great teacher, but yeah. a great coach at the same time. Which both those things go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So, did you guys have him in class as well too? I, I had him in science. Yeah, he was a science teacher. Yeah. Did Did he keep track of the football players and making sure that oh, you big, guys were big time? Yeah. Oh yeah. He He was on. Uh, he was on our case all the time, finding out how our grades were. Right. If if we could still play. Right, right. Uh, Where you were on a Friday night before the game, right? Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure We'd we always it. find the football players in the hallway because Chick wanted to make the, you know, something, if you were on a football team, yeah. it was like very prestigious. So all the guys were like the starters, they'd be working on like student patrol right. in the hallways. And you'd have guys like, you know, Dyke Mitchell, who was, you know, probably marginal student the whole time he was there. But, you know, he was working, he was with a student patrol and, mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was nice. The guys were proud to be on a football team. And I know, like, every Friday we, we'd have, like, a period off. We'd have a pep rally, and he'd have all the football players up on the stage. Yeah. And he made football a big thing. Yeah. And, you know, Did, now, when you guys it. were underclassmen, as sophomores say, when you said you're, right. when you were sophomores starting, yeah. um, Jason Thompson were there yeah. and, and uh, John Voltrain. John Voltrain. Because yeah. we've got that on tape, too. Yeah. Not here today, but we've got that on tape. Yeah. Were Jimmy those guys Jimmy. you looked up to of kind of saying, geez, when I'm a senior, oh, yeah. this is... Yeah. This oh, is yeah. what I want to be doing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, that's kind of you know yeah. the kind of it's what you yeah. try to build in today with the kids too. You look up to the upperclassmen and try to emulate them when yeah. you get there. Yeah, I mean we, we used to have the like the that back then we had, used to have the maroon key. You know, like we had right. the, the three sports guys. You know, like Tom played baseball, wonderful baseball pitcher, and uh, and he played uh, football. Mm -hmm. uh, no basketball, but uh, you know, but, we, but a lot of us were in sports for just being in school. Right. Yeah, you, you used know? to get your sweater I mean, with the letter. I mean, I, I, right. You know, yeah, get a big L or a little L. Right. You know, it was it was right. It JV was, varsity or freshman. Yeah, yeah, you had to have so many varsity letters, yeah. and then like if we had a home game in basketball and you weren't playing, yeah. you know, or you weren't playing basketball mm -hmm. and you were on the maroon key, you'd work at the doors or escort people because mm -hmm. yeah. that's chick was yeah. a football player. Yeah. He, he was big on that. You know? Yeah, yeah. Made you feel proud to be a football player. Yeah, yeah absolutely. 
Um, this picture here, too, we have another picture we're going to zoom in on. This was taken just before the Thanksgiving Day football game where it kind of refers to... It was in Springfield Union the day before. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it's a... Uh, there we go. And over here we got Paul. Uh, you were number 20, which, by the way, when we put yeah. the film on, you were yeah. number 20. Uh, to your left, this is Jim Rooney. Tim Rooney. Tim, Tim Rooney, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then uh, Kevin Thompson, yeah. who still looks the same, and, and Tommy Halleck, who still looks the same. Yeah, actually, you guys haven't really quite changed in a few years. <laughs> well, those wow. oldest teenagers. I think um, Paul was standing on a soda box or something. But. <laughs> he does. He looks like he's taller than, than even Thompson at the time. <laughs> but this, so this picture is taken just prior to the uh, game to kind of build up the game. Yeah, I guess. Palmer. Yeah. yeah. And but, was it a Springfield Union? Or so? Can we get back to the chat real quick, Liz? This this helmet right here, Tom. Once you uh, you oh, actually still oh. own this helmet. <clears throat> this helmet still exists. Look at look at this thing. This is something that you you don't see too often. It's got yeah. it. Everybody thing. wonders why you don't have any marbles. <laughs> right. Yeah. Original number 21. Yeah. And look in the inside, if we can show on the inside here. When I played Boys there's and Girls no, Club there's football, no padding in there's there. There's nothing, nothing in there, which might explain some things today, Tom. But there's, <laughs> this is something I, I use when I was uh, playing